Hi, in this video, we are going to see how we can perform face detection on an image or it can be a frame within a video as well. Now, face detection is identifying a face or a faces in an image. Now, there can be multiple person in an image and you want to identify all the faces within that image or it can be a single person where you want to identify a face within an image. Now, face detection is the key pre-processing step to a face verification system. So typically in face detection, what you do is you uh, check an image or a video frame, you extract the exact coordinates where a face is present, you extract the face and then pass it to a verification system. And the purpose of the face verification system is to identify exactly who is that in that particular image. What is the name of the person or what is his identification? Right now, face verification is used in attendance system, or it can be an uh, system that can log you into an enterprise, or there are multiple security use cases that is possible. Now, let us see how we can perform a face detection uh, system in this particular video. And the next video, we will move on to face verification system. We are going to do it pretty simple way. We are going to use an existing package and do it, which is nothing but the state of the art system as well. So for that, I'm going to use like MTCNN. MTCNN is basically multitask cascaded convolutional neural network and uh, it's called multitask because there are three different activities it does it does a face classification and once it identify face it is going to do a bounding box regression and along with the bounding box regression it is also going to do landmark detection landmarks detection is basically where the left eye is where the right eye is where the nose is where the mouth is so it's also detecting landmarks within a face and we are going to use mtcnn package for that you can just do a pip install mtc i've already done that and i'm going to download a set of images i'm going to download a images which are uh, where people are of different color and different country origin and everything i just want to test it against multiple uh, images so that to make sure there's no bias in the system in fact like this is trained with lot of images with multiple gender and multiple skin color so you should see a pretty much good state of the art uh, performance over here you can change the image to your need you can download the image as needed but i just downloaded some image of uh, madonna uh, denzel washington serena williams modi and amitabh right so these are some images i have i already downloaded it now if you see this is the a benchmark of uh, MTCNN uh, in the FTDB uh, basically uh, benchmark that is nothing but face detection data set and benchmark uh, uh, data set uh, you can see basically it has the most uh, true positive rate and in the AFLW which is annotated facial landmark in the wild uh, detection day benchmark you can see this has basically the lowest the MTCNN is blue in color this has the lowest mean error rate uh, for even the landmark as well as the entire face detection uh, you can read more about this particular uh, this particular architecture cnn architecture in this particular link basically it contains like three layers of convolution neural network uh, three different convolution neural network like pnet uh, harnet and onet and everything you can read it more about here i'm not going to go into the details of it let's see how to implement it so the very first thing I'm doing over here is I am uh, importing uh, like MTCNN uh, over here and then I'm importing CV2. CV2 is just to process the image. You can use any image processing library. And these are all some of the JPEG. I have Madonna.jpg, Modi.jpg, Amitabh, Denzel Washington and Serena, which I'm going to use. So let me run the import statement. And then the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, read the Madonna or JPJ image. Let me read it and let's quickly uh, see like uh, how this particular image looks like. This is of Madonna. If you see over here, I am using like cv2.image show. Now, Collab does not support uh, OpenCV uh, image show directly. So they have provided a patch uh, to that uh, OpenCV uh, CV2. You can use that to show the image over here. So I'm this is the image and our purpose from this image is to detect exactly the face of this particular, uh, only the face within that image, right? So that's what we are going to do. So for that, what I'm doing is I am initializing the uh, MTCNN, uh, uh, MTCNN import that we have done and I'm getting a detector object. MTCNN is going to detect face and other landmarks within the face. 
right and once i have the detector object i am just telling detector dot detect faces of this particular image and then i am getting all the faces within the image if there is one face i will get an array of a uh, uh, array of the bounding box location and also the landmark for one face if there are multiple faces i will get multiple faces and i am just like looping through the face and then printing the face so if you see over here i'll get a json file over here which will tell me this is basically the x y with the height of that particular bounding box where the face is it is telling the confidence interval it's 99% confidence that there's a face and these are the key points which is telling the left eye right eye location and everything right this is how it is now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a function which will take a image as input and then it's going to detect all the landmark and faces and it's going to draw basically the landmark point and faces and then give the output image right so for that i have created a function over here called create bounding box bb box and i'm passing a image object right and then i'm calling the same function detector dot detect images within the function i am getting the image object i'll get all the faces from the faces i am getting face of zero or box so in this case what i am assuming is there is only one face in the image but if you have multiple faces then what i would say is write a for loop and then say like zero or one index based on how many faces are there and you can print it but uh, i want to keep it simple i will go with one face it is easy easily like uh, can be modified for multiple faces right so if you see over here for the face i have the box as the uh, json key so basically i am telling face of zero of box and for the key points that where the eyes are where the nose is where the uh, mouth is you have the key point as the uh, key and i'm taking all the key points as well right so i will get the faces i will get the json object from that i am picking the box and key points then what i'm doing is i'm taking the image i'm going to draw bounding box within the image and for that what i'm doing is i'm using the cv2 dot rectangle open cv i'm drawing a rectangle over here i'm passing the image object and then i'm telling my bounding box 0 and bounding box 1 uh, has my x and y and the height and width i'm just giving it uh, this way uh basically i am i am adding the bounding box 0 171 plus uh the height and then second is the y axis plus width that's what i am doing and then i am creating a bounding box within the image next i have to detect all the um all the basically eyes mouth and nose for that what i am doing is i am just putting a circle over there right so i am calling a cv2 dot circle i am just going to put a point at those plus places so i am calling cv2 dot circle and then i am passing the image object i am telling the key point is left eye and uh, then i'm just giving like uh, the the height of the image and everything which is similar to what i have given over here you can give any any kind of uh, value over here but make it consistent across the board for different key points similarly i am putting a circle for right right eye nose mouth uh, left uh, left hand side of the mouth and right hand side of the mouth and i am returning the final image object which is nothing but all the landmarks drawn within the image so let me run this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the first image the first image i have over here is i have created of uh, basically image object of madonna right so i'm going to take this image i'm going to call the create bounding box uh, function and then i'm going to get a return image over there i'm just create it as marked image so let me run this and when i do a cv show of marked image you are going to basically see Uh, this is what i got in return and you can see the face is detected over here and then the left eye right eye nose and then the left side of the mouth and the right side of the mouth basically all of this are detected perfectly right this is one of the image now let's try for few different images just to make sure this does not carry any inner and bias uh, with other images so i am going to pass a uh, image with denzel washington and i'm calling the same cc box uh, create b bounding box function i'm just calling the cv2 dot image read because in this case i am passing the image uh, da jpeg directly not the image uh, array that is already read in the case of madonna and then i am calling the uh, i am calling the show function and here if you see in the case of uh, denzel washington um, even though the 
your face is slightly oriented towards the left it can see it has detected the face properly and the other uh, landmark detection also properly and similarly let me try for other images quickly and if you see for Serena Williams uh, the image is smaller and you can see basically it has detected the face properly and everything right similarly let me try for the Indian Prime Minister uh, Modi uh, uh, here you can see for Modi uh, the image is detected properly and all the landmarks are also proper. Let me try it with uh, Bollywood actor Amitabh Bachchan and you can uh, basically see here even it's perfect right with the specs also the eyes are detected, uh, the nose and the left side of everything is detected properly. Now in the next video what I'm going to do is now the since the face is detected I'm going to extract this particular face attributes uh, in the next video and then we are going to compare it with other faces uh, but different image right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this Denzel Washington this image and then I'm going to compare with a different image and see of Denzel Washington and see whether uh, both the face matches right and uh, I'm going to compare uh, it with some other face and see if it matches the reason is we want to build a face verification system where I exactly know who is in the image let's see how to build it in the next video but for face detection you can see how simple it was to use the package and get the face detected and also there's one of the state of the heart system that is available today thank you very much